Hey there, it's me, Lottie, and today what we're gonna do is something that I don't do very often, but it's a unboxing. This time we have an Oracle deck and made even more exciting because it was designed by a friend of mine. So let's just jump right in, see what we got. I haven't even opened it yet. I was waiting for y'all. Okay, so we're gonna try doing this. This is uh, the package that came for me. This is my first time actually trying this sort of overhead setup. So, <laughs> and let's see what we got here. Okay, so first and foremost, we have a book. Sorry about that reflection of the light here. The plant spirit oracle meanings, recipes, and journeys by Dana O'Driscoll, my friend. So I want to celebrate her accomplishment in creating this, right? I mean, it takes a lot to put your mind to task. So the other thing we have here is our plant spirit oracle tea. Ground ivy, catnip, pink rose, Reishi powder, elderberry, and honey crisp apple. Sounds amazing. Plant spirit oracle tea. This packet came with the deck as well. Plant spirit oracle divination herbs packet. This is a perfect herbal divination packet to use when working with the plant spirit oracle or just in your practice. Herbs included mugwort, ground ivy, pink rose, staghorn sumac, bay leaf, ghost pipe. All guilds in the plant spirit oracle are represented through this packet. Very nice, very nice. I could see this being used for altar work, candle work, meditation work, depending on what cards you draw, using a little pinch here, there, in a number of ways. I like this. That's nice. That came in this particular set. Okay, and this is the Plant Spirit Oracle deck by Dana O'Driscoll. <laughs> I love this. This is a first edition put out by the druidsgarden.com. It's a wonderful website if you haven't checked it out yet. It's a wonderful blog full of lots of nature-based spirituality. Mm, I like the texture of the box. It's that um, velvety matte that is so popular right now for book covers and everything. So it's like, you know, it's got a nice soft texture to it. We have some thumb grips here. Oh, look at this Luna moth here on the back. Beautiful. Enter the world of plant spirit medicine with the plant spirit oracle. The PSO is a 49 card full color borderless oracle deck. Every card has three primary meanings. Each card represents a unique plant, tree or mushroom commonly found in the Eastern and Midwest regions of the US. Listen to the voices of nature and connect deeply with nature spirits in this beautiful deck. Well, I gotta say, this box is amazing. Ghost pipe here on the front. I can already see I can use this in my next spiritual development um, 
work that I want to undertake. Oh my God. I just already, I haven't even opened anything yet and I'm tripping. <gasps> Dana, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for your work. Look at that mycelium. Look at that mycelium. I sound like <laughs> a true plant nerd, right? Look at that mycelium. Who says that? <laughs> I do. Oh my God. I love it. And look, this is a nice size book. This isn't a, a little, little white book, an LWB for sure. This, has the name of the herb, the Latin name, keywords, description, where it grows, using it for divination, fertility, mothering, children, in herbalism, and then a recipe. Is that how each of them go? Keywords, divination, herbalism. Okay, so it seems like, of course, being an oracle deck, a lot of its focus is on divination. And it looks like we have the different guilds here, which go by color, purple, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, great principles of nature, forest, water's edge, lawn, field, garden, and plant warriors. Okay, I have to spend some time with this. It's like, it's such a nice book. It's very thick and doesn't have uh, pictures of the cards in it. But there's some spreads here. I like this energy that I'm putting into the world message from spirit, mind, spirit, body and heart. Creativity spread. I can see right now I'm going to spend some time with this. Dana is an amazing watercolorist. Is that what you call them? People that are badass with watercolor? <gasps> Look. <laughs> you know it's something if it just takes your breath away. You're like, oh. Oh, look, look at the back. Here's the back. Let me get this uh, band off. Okay. Beautiful quality. Beautiful, heavy, heavy quality box. It's not flimsy. It's a very nice. Yeah, I'm getting into the box. Here's the back of the cards. Beautiful vine or ivy. Design all the way around. Lots of swirls like that. Here's the card stock. Nice. I like this. It's not, they're not, um, they're a matte finish. They're not that same as velvety as the box. They're a smooth matte and they are of a good quality card stock. And this card is Yarrow, see the yarrow swirling into the Luna moth. Love Luna moths. I had one show up at my place not too long ago. Witch Hazel. Future generations, optimism. Look at that pathway, all the chakras represented. Spring, summer, or sp maybe summer and fall. Where's this road leading? Wild yam. 
intuition, omens, femininity, those antlers. She did all these illustrations herself and all these paintings. These I'm sure were full on paintings. Look at that. Water, that infinity symbol. Growth, the roots, all within the cycle. Wow, I'm not gonna go through this whole deck. <laughs> not on camera anyway. Turkey tail, turkey tail mushrooms. Isn't that beautiful, look at that. The unknown, mystery, unsettled. So I think what I wanna do is spend some time with the book, do a few sample readings. Sacred tobacco, tobacco, it doesn't say sacred, but expansion, trajectory, evolution. The um, Kabbalah, is that what that is? Wow. The imagery is so evocative and intentional. Look at St. John's wort. Creativity, inspiration, and flow. So I think what I want to do, like I said, I'm not going to go through every one, but I do want you to know that these are gorgeous, gorgeous cards on gorgeous cardstock. <laughs> I'm really enjoying already. Like I said, I haven't even, look at that. I haven't even sat down. Look at that. Oh, I love that card. Look at the door in the distance. Ghost pipe being a herb. Well, it's actually a um, parasitic, um, it's not, quite a fungus. I think it's a flower. <laughs> More like a mushroom, but it's not a mushroom either. So I forgot exactly. But oh, look at goldenrod. Goldenrod is so beautiful. One of my favorites. Happiness, success, prosperity. So, oh, the great web. Okay, I said I wasn't going through all of these. They are beautiful. They're beautiful. The artwork is lovely. And I can't wait to use them a bit. And I just want to give a special shout out to Dana for her talent, skill, gifts, decisions to make things that she shares with us and gives us the opportunity to have in our lives as well. So I'm really pleased. I'm looking forward to working with this. And I will leave a link to her website in the description below and you should check it out and check out her website. Her writings are great. And I'm looking forward to using these. This is a great time. I'm stepping into a particular time of personal growth and development for 75 days starting October 1st. So I think that I'm going to use this deck because one of my goals of growth is deepening my nature-based spirituality. And I think that this will be a perfect journeying tool. All right. So, as always, I hope that you are taking care. And that you are, look at that. Oh, oh my God. That you are surrounded by love. And until I see you in the next video, peace.